So it was the most horrendous itch I'd ever had. I didn't know where it came from. I didn't know how to prevent it. And the worst part is I didn't know how to stop it. I would scratch myself so bad that I would have fingernail marks all over my, my skin. They're just red marks. The thing that's so horrible about it is it doesn't matter how much you scratch it, it does not go away. Scratching it doesn't relieve it. And it's this weird under the skin itch. It's like so deep. So then as I continued to wrestle, I started to notice that I would get it often when I would be doing the wrestling warm up. I learned that warming up and breaking a sweat would relieve it. So then I finally had my first remedy was that breaking a sweat could relieve this itch. I still didn't know that wrestling was causing it though. And I remember going to the doctor for one thing or another, being a kid, being like, Hey, what, what's up with this itch? And they just look at you like you're an idiot. They have no idea what you're talking about. It makes sense they don't know what it is because this thing is probably 1% or less of people get it. So then I went wrestling all the way throughout high school and I had the itches sporadically. They didn't always come on. There could be a week where I didn't get it at all, but there could be a day where I got it twice. So it was very random. So I wasn't able to pinpoint it, that the itch was actually caused by wrestling. After wrestling, I went in, started to do jujitsu a couple years later. Started getting the itches randomly again, but I didn't put two and two together that it was from the jujitsu. By this time, I knew how to remedy it by if I got the itches, I would be able to stop it by getting in the shower, jumping in a pool, or breaking a sweat. So at least I had that. Then I stopped jujitsu for five years. I didn't even really specifically notice, hey, I don't get those itches anymore until uh, probably a couple years into it. And then I just thought, oh, those itches were a thing of the past. I had no idea where they came from. Five years passed from the last time I was on the mat and I started doing jujitsu again. That's when the itches came back and I figured out that, that these itches that have been haunting me for so many years were actually from grappling. And then I figured out that it has, has to do with uh, stimulating your skin by being rubbed and grabbed does something to your histamine or your inflammatory response underneath your skin and some people react to it and some people don't. Most people do not know what I'm talking about right now at all. But the ones who have my problem are so happy that somebody like me is talking to them. Uh, after going back into jiu-jitsu for a few months, I fell back in love with it. I studied it harder than I ever had. And just when I started to really feel like I was doing good again, the itches got so bad and so intense and so frequent this time. They were more frequent than they ever had been. It was starting to be like an everyday thing. Anyway, they were so intense that they would disrupt my life. Like if I broke out in the itches in the middle of the day, I could be in the middle of work, it doesn't matter. It's like, I have to drop everything to deal with this. It's so bad. You like scratch your skin off your legs. So since it disrupted my life so much, I decided I was gonna quit jujitsu, that I couldn't do it because I couldn't handle the itches anymore. It was too disruptive to my life. I just went ahead and went one more time to jujitsu and tried it. And sure enough, it worked. I was shocked. So then from that point on, this was uh, about 10 years ago. From that point on, I was able to deal with my itches and I've never had them be a problem ever again. 